RuneScape 3, the original RuneScape, a game once loved by many, through controversial updates and changes, now a game loved by few, and hated by most. In this series, with a fresh account and a new start, I want to explore what the game has to offer, focusing on differences to old school RuneScape, and what's changed from that game we all used to love. Let's together see if the game has hidden gems and interesting content that the average person won't find without playing the game. And what's the appeal to keep playing this game for so many people? Is it refused to change and start over? Or is there something we're all missing? Let's find out together. So what's up guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm going to start this video off by doing Mountains End Part 1. Wish me luck. I must say, Double Surge makes questing so much nicer. I'd recommend getting it unlocked, like, about the stage I am, or even earlier if you can. Just because, you know, I've got so many quests to do, it's going to make things so much smoother. But well, that's uh, Morning's End Part 1 done. Not much to say about the quest other than it's, uh, it's a bit lame, but not too hard. Well, uh, I guess it's time for Mountain's End Part 2. I heard so many things about this quest. Never done it in old school. There's never been a motive. Um, but there is at the minute. Obviously, they just released Prif over there. But anyway, let's see how we get on. I don't get what all the fuss is about. This is, like, super easy. As long as you... If there's a shadow, you just kill it. Wait till you're out of combat. Search. Redirect. Piece of piss, boys. This part as well was meant to be terrible. I've not failed it once. And let's hope I've not spoke too soon. No, I think I'm good. I think this is the bit that causes people problems, but I do have like 87 agility. Not failed it once. I'm gonna say it, boys. That quest was easy. I don't see what the fuss is about. I could imagine if you did it pre-OC or on old school, because I've not actually done it on old school. I always put it off because everyone made out it was the worst quest on, on Earth. It literally took me like 40, 50 minutes. Um, like I imagine it could probably be harder. Uh, but I ate like one piece of food the whole quest. So it's literally just turning mirrors not even hard if you're putting this quest off because people say it's really bad it's honestly not that bad you heard it here boys so got a decent bit of uh, agility xp off that one though and that got us all the way to 88 all right boys i thought that quest was gonna burn me out you know when you have a really bad quest but you know what let's keep going i'm gonna do within the light yay more puzzles and there we go, the Light Within done. Refreshingly short, considering the other quest took like nearly an hour. So yeah, nice to have that done. So we are very, very close to being able to do Plague's End. We got one more quest and 75 summoning needed. So Catapult Construction, yeah, I can do this one. 2008, I don't remember this quest. And that is the last quest for Prif done. Um, this quest, weirdly, increases damage using Castle Wars Catapults. I found that really strange, but uh, yeah, that's that one done. All we need now is a few summoning levels. All right, boys, time to train some summoning. We need to get 75. Um, probably end up staying longer just because I haven't trained in ages and i got so many damn charms. Double surge makes this so much easier. Holy shit. <laughs> this is going to save me so much time. There's like two good spots I can surge at. And there we go, boys. There is level uh, 75, all we needed for Prif. But I'm going to uh, train a bit longer, though. Might as well. We've got so many charms. Boys, we have just got level 80. Not sure what it unlocks. Um, the Hydras are actually good for training, but generally, the good stuff is all in the level 80s and 90s. So there's some good up unlocks upcoming when we uh, get some more levels in the future. Alright guys, just got myself 81, I think that's probably me done now, or I'm going to end up never leaving here, <laughs> because I've still got so many charms left, I've got 1.2 reds, still got like 5k greens, and I've not even touched my blues, still got like 2k blues as well. Alright boys, it is time. We've had enough of these motherfuckers, time to kick down their door, I've got the gang with me. Time to fuck shit up. These elves, uh, they do like a light puzzle, don't they? And this guy fucking... Hits like a truck, man. <laughs> he hits like a fucking truck. Oh god, here we go. Boys, 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 boys. We have done it. Plague City finished. What does this quest unlock? Well, access to Privinus. We'll we'll keep it at that because uh, 
That unlocks a lot of shit, but yeah, let's uh, let's go check the city out. And there it is, boys. We can see it up there. Let's pass the gate. And there looks to be so much, so much content in this place. I wouldn't even know where to begin. There's so many different things you can now unlock and do and train. And oh, we're going to be here a long time. I literally have no idea where to begin, but I guess the first step is let's just get the lodestone so we never have to walk here again. And yeah, I'll come up with a game plan. And for anyone who complains that, you know, RuneScape's quite dead, it's because there's multiple GEs. All these motherfuckers here and uh, like over here and stuff, uh, they could be banking at the Varrock GE, but they bank here because it's just easier to get to. Like, am I even playing RuneScape right now? Like... These graphics are fucking nuts, man. This this place looks so good. Ah, that's the uh, the Max Guild, and I need to unravel every one of these flags. I'm assuming I can unravel this though, because I have 99 thieving. Yeah, I can. Okay, so I'm assuming yeah, you basically need to have all these flags before you can go in. So I'm just gonna unravel the ones I can. That's as far as we got, boys. We got one, two, three, four, five. It's nice to have a little uh, signifier here, though. It's pretty cool when you get your 99. You can come back, unravel um, one of these, and see how close you are to getting into the max guild. All right, guys. So this is pretty where I'm going to start. There's a room where you play this harp. And is AFK as shit and is actually really good XP. I'll probably be 99 crafting by the end of the day. Um, but you get this dust and use this dust to make the best pickaxe in game. If you remember a couple of episodes ago, I got that other pickaxe. I'm going to need to make a crystal pickaxe and then put them together, blah de blah Yeah, let's uh, just AFK this for the next five years. Alright boys, so we are like 500 dust away from getting the pickaxe, but I've been here literally for like a day and a half. This takes so damn long, it's unreal, and then I need to do it again and again. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to look to upgrade my range weapon and my friends online. So I just want to do some bossing with him. But we're just going to do ED3 cash runs again. And I'm going to try and get the money for the glaives. So I can upgrade my range weapon for bossing. Boys, we just got 100 HP. Very nice. That's obviously going to just keep going up as well as my defense. Alright guys, so a lot of people in my chat on stream, Twitch. I stream by the way. Um, did not know that this was a thing. When when I run out of adrenaline, I automatically heal. And a lot of people were like, how are you doing that automatic? But it's actually a setting. Mine's on automatic when I made the account. But you go combat action bar, automatically trigger regen. And then your adrenaline will automatically heal you without needing to press a button. 103 defense, by the way. And uh, there we have 104 defense. So I've just been shown this uh, agility thing. So I don't really know much about Prif at this point, but it's pretty good XP. You just copy this guy. You get this little tab down here. So what's he doing? He's doing the seated thing bow. Um, it's good XP, but there's a cap on it. It's 20K a day. So just more daily skate boys. But yeah, if you want a quick 20K and you're in Prif, just quickly come and do this. All right, so we've made an upgrade. I had to pay 7.7 .7 for the offhand. I had to pay a lot over, really, and then 7.1 for this one as well. Let's check these beasts out. Uh, tier 85, by the way. Uh, I guess it's untradable once I wield it because they uh, degrade. 
There we go. I wish they were bigger, like, like the, I swear the guy, the bosses ones are actually a lot bigger. So boys, another little tip, even if you can't make extremes, just buy a super invention, the like 1K on the GE, and then come to your workbench, and you can boost up and actually unlock a bunch of shit before your actual level. Cause that's like level 72, and I'm only level 68. Okay, so we have over 4,000 dust. Let's uh, make this pickaxe. Okay, ladies and gents, I think I just talked to this person. I don't know if it's that simple, but we'll see. Can you make me a crystal hatchet or pickaxe? I'm assuming that's the option. Let's see what happens. Gimme, gimme. Okay, I have that stuff. Check for tools in my backpack. Oh, damn. Can do a lot of stuff. Can you upgrade my Imkando pickaxe to a crystal Imkando pickaxe? Okay, I've never heard of that. Um, so we have the crystal pickaxe, which used to be the best pickaxe in the game for a while. Um, and we have this. The augmental. So I think we just go and smith it. Let's find out. Turns out we need uh, 90 smithing to make this bad boy. Oh, I did not know that. Maybe I can get an assist. Let's try. All right, we'll see if this works. We got an assist. This man just maxed, by the way. Congratulations. Um, I was told you don't need the hammer. So, uh, it's still not showing. You lack the requirements. Hmm. Maybe you do need the hammer. I'm not sure. Well, turns out you uh, you do need the hammer. Whoever said that to me was uh, chatting shit. And quite a few people said it in the stream that you didn't need the hammer hammer maybe there's some confusion around the hammer i don't know but to get the hammer i need to do more quests so uh i ain't ending this video till i get this pickaxe boys so the quest needed is an absolute classic quest while guffick sleeps but there's so many pre-quests i've not done i haven't done the path of gloffrey which needs to do the eye of gloffrey which i can do and i haven't done dream mentor which needs luma diplomacy which i can do um, so that's four quests so far. Are there any others? No. So, yeah, I need to do like four... Oh, King's Ransom. Which I can do. Five quests we need to do, boys. Let's go. Okay, thank God that quest is done. That is a really annoying quest. But I actually have some good unlocks. We can make the Crystal Saw. Which is used to boost your construction by three levels. So you can build shit early. Which is pretty damn useful if you need to build sign And you can't be asked to get the levels... Uh, plus something to do with attuning crystals as well, with the uh, bowl thing that's unlocked now. So the next quest is the Path of Gloffrey. I believe this is not in old school, but it is 2007, so it like just missed uh, the server they used to uh, make old school. But yeah, let's get it done. So this quest actually needs a grapple hook, but you can put an enhanced grapple hook on your tool belt. It requires 59 smithing, use a mithril crossbow, a mithril grapple and five mithril bars that we can make it. So no better time to do it. Sorry, a 59 fletching is needed. So we've got five mithril bars. We just use the crossbow on the grapple, I think. Yeah, with the bars. Add to tool belt. Never need a grapple again. <laughs> Fuck yes. Definitely recommend doing that. Well, that quest is uh, pretty much just as annoying as the first one. It's actually decent XP, probably worth getting done early on. But it does also unlock something I've been really annoyed with, and that's the travel system with the trees where you have to go to the middle tree and back. And would you look at that, 80 Slayer. Um, unlocked a ton of shit. Uh, these, these are meant to be quite good, I think, the uh, crystal shapeshifters. So now I shouldn't have to teleport to the middle tree, which should be really... Yes! Oh, thank God, that's been so annoying. Oh, I'm so happy with that. How come this uh, hasn't been unlocked yet? I know there's um, a tree in Prif. Maybe I have to go to it first. But yeah, no more having to go to the middle and then back and so on. Uh, probably should have done this sooner while I was doing tree runs for farming. But hey, tree runs are useless now. Player own farms. And there we have King's Ransom done. Exactly the same as it is in old school. Could then go and do the mini quest to unlock Piety, but... Don't really need it, but I will have to do it at some point. But let's just focus on the task at hand. I fucking hate this part of the quest. It takes so damn long. And there we go. Lunar Diplomacy done. A really good quest to get done because it unlocks a lot of stuff. Obviously, the Lunar Spellbook. Uh, the ability to craft astral runes. Getting these annoying fucks as a Slayer task. But they're actually, like, super squishy on here. On old school, they take ages to kill. But on here, like, you kill them in, like, two hits. 
Um, also unlocks, I think, Livid Farm, or that might be the quest afterwards which unlocks that, which has some super good rewards. So if you've still got the broomstick from Swept Away quest, and you come in here and give it to this woman, you get like 10k mage XP, but you need to have 73 mage to do it. I think they do things like this just so the newbie quests, when they add them, are still kind of like a bit more rewarding for higher level people. And there we go, there's Dream Mentor, unlocks just a bunch more spells on the lunar uh, spell book uh, glad to have that done as well all right boys time to start the quest wish me luck little interesting fact about the quest while guffick sleeps this is actually the first ever master quest in runescape oh shit he just murked doradel uh and the guy gives you 99 strength cape um okay how do we deal with that <laughs> are they gonna replace that slayer master with someone else now uh, Rip, uh, Hazmir. Um, this, this quest just killing off loads of characters, man. My theory is this quest is probably what inspired them to kill off the Slayer Master on Old School. Doing the old knee for Steve right now. Well, uh, that's one hefty stat boost. Can you get that sort of stat, stat boost anywhere else? Not gonna lie, that, that quest was, uh, an absolute pain in the ass, but you get a lot of XP from it. That was, yeah, that was a really annoying quest. <laughs> the last bit with the fucking potions as well. I get 100k XP in any stat over 65. That is a hard choice. Hunter? Oh, that's a lot of Hunter XP. Can I put it in the same again? Hunter? <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> that was gonna save me so much Hunter gains. Hunter again, please. Thank you very much. I think I get one more. Yes, please. Hunter again. 400k Hunter XP. And we've hit total level uh, 2,300, boys. And, uh... Oh, we got another cutscene. Ah, I'm assuming this is the first time you ever see these dudes. I've heard of them. They're the Dragon Kin. Um, and they play, obviously, way bigger part in RS3 than, obviously, old school. I think this is the first time you see them as well, which is kind of interesting. Alright boys, we finally have an option to buy the hammer and we have the damn hammer. I'm hoping that I can actually get a boost and this will work. Please, please, please let this work. Come on. Where are you? There you are. It says I don't have the level, but let's try. You lack the requirements. Can you not get boosted for this, please? <laughs> I've just done so many quests. <laughs> no. It looks like assists just don't work with smithing. I can't I can't make anything. Like, all these lot, they just say I don't have the level. Um, might be something to do with the update, maybe, but... We might be saved. People are saying pulse cores can uh, give me a plus seven somehow. Let's see if we can do it. All right, we're going to need to get extremely lucky to pull this off. I'm going to hope to get hit by a pulse core and then run over and smith this fucker as quick as I can because you can get a plus seven. What was that? Oh, I think... Uh, I've got it! I've got it! i got it that quick! Go, 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 boys! Go, we got we got 90... No, I dropped already! No! Alright, I'm just going to get one smith in level because I'm pretty close. So I need 34k and then that boost should last a bit longer because we'll get 91 from a pulse core hopefully. Uh, if this don't work, I'm all out of ideas. <laughs> oh, let's hope this works. Boys, there are about eight pulse cores have hit me. I got like f six of them gave me prayer restore. One gave me combat. The other one gave me support skills. We're going to be here a while, boys. Uh, is that the one? That's the one. No, it's not the one. <laughs> That's gathering skills. Oh, we're going to be here a while, man. Oh, we got it, boys. Go, 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 go. Will it work? Will it work? No, I don't want to use proteins. Quick, go, go. Begin project. It fucking worked, boys. Oh, it fucking worked. Oh my god, I did not feel. I honestly thought that didn't work. I thought this pick was gonna be like something special, which you can't boost for. But oh, there it is, boys. We got it. Hell fucking yeah, we managed it. That's a good place to end the video.